Hi everyone, Grant K here from the Smoke Learning Channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at animation ramping using expressions. This is basically the ability to control the intensity and timing of your animation using a simple mathematical equation. So here we have a logo that has been textured onto a surface in the Action 3D Compositor. Now we would like to generate some random animation on the horizontal or X position channel of the logo. To do this, we are going to use the axis controller technique that I introduced in a previous video on expressions. In the node bin, we will add the axis node into the composite and we will change the name to control. You can see in the result view that we have the control axis and right now it doesn't affect anything in our composite. Let's go ahead and add the animation to the control axis and then link it to our logo. We'll first select the control axis in the schematic view. To the bottom left of the interface, press the animation button to open the animation editor. In the channels to the left of the curves, we can expand out the selected control axis channels and select the X position channel. Now the first thing we are going to do is create some random animation using the noise expression. Press the expression button to the right of the interface which brings up the expressions text box underneath the animation curves. In the text box, type noise open bracket, frame, close bracket. In other words, the expression reads, create a noise value generated from the current frame number. Now this noise curve is permanently generated on the X position channel of the control axis. If I scrub the time bar, you can see the animation occurring. Now we would like to control the timing of this animation curve as well as the animation ramping. Say for instance, we want the logo to start calm and then start shaking and eventually settle back down again. To do this, we are going to use a second channel in the control axis. For example sake, I have chosen to do this in the Y rotation channel of the control axis. We'll select the Y rotation channel in the animation editor. Ensure that auto key is turned on. On the first frame of the composite, we will set a value of zero. Moving 25 frames forward, we'll set a value of 100. Finally, moving forward to 75 frames, we'll set the last value to zero. In the channel editor, we can see that we have two curves that currently have no bearing on each other. Now we're going to create the connection between the two curves using the axis of the logo. We'll select the logo axis in the schematic view. Scrolling to the selected channels in the animation editor, we will expand the logo's axis channels and select the X position. So with a simple multiplication expression, we'll combine the two curves together. Press the expression button to the right of the UI to bring up the expression editor. Now let's type control.position.x multiplied by control.rotation.y. We have explicitly defined the channels for position X and rotation Y in the control axis. Press enter to confirm the expression. We can now see that we have a curve where the noise ramps up and then ramps down on the X position of the logo. Bear in mind that the moving keyframes in the rotation channel of the control axis can now control the timings of the animation. And of course, editing the expression can adjust the intensity of the noise or whatever you create in the position channel. 
If you want to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke, or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. Thank <laughs> you.